Only on News 5, have you ever wondered, what's the secret to a long life? Uh, well, tonight, our home of Bash introduces us to a man who may have that answer. He's about to celebrate his 100th birthday this weekend. If Dr. Howard Tucker were reading his resume, it would look something like this. Neurologist for more than seven decades. Law school in his late 60s. World War II Navy veteran. Chief of Neurology of the Atlantic Fleet during the Korean War. Dr. Tucker has been walking the halls here at St. Vincent for the last seven years. Yes, he started a job in his 90s. Before that, he was at the Cleveland Clinic for a decade the place where he started his medical career. It's been a wild ride for you. Well, it seems that way. Um, but you're a celebrity when you get to be 100. But what you don't see written on his long list of accomplishments over the last 99 years is what Dr. Tucker is most proud of. 10 grandkids. 10 grandkids, four children, a wife of 65 years he says he's never had a single fight with. Sue mirrors his work ethic, a psychiatrist at 88 years old, to con up with patients on this day to make our interview. But back to Howard, did we mention he's also in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's oldest practicing physician? Can you imagine that? Yes. Well, how do you feel about that? Well, it's, it's kind of makes me smile. It's thanks to his grandson, Austin, who is now working on a feature length documentary on Dr. Tucker's life culminating with his 100th birthday on July 10th. You know, I was naive. I always thought that everyone had a grandfather that was working in their 70s, 80s, 90s. Because while Dr. Tucker makes it look relatively easy, staying active, seeing patients and teaching medical residents in his 90s, his secret is simple. Never stop moving, never stop learning. It's never just, Austin, can you do this for me? It's Austin, can you show me how to do this? He's really interested in understanding how can I do this? Uh, he, he's just fascinated with the world. And every day something new will hit me, and I'll just smile and say how oh, nice. Taylor Taglianetti is directing and producing the documentary titled What's Next? Fascinated by his drive, inspired by his life. He's seen 75 years of the evolution of medicine, 75 years of the evolution of the brain, and he has this unique perspective on the practice of medicine that is really kind of this dying ideology where you put the patient first. Penicillin wasn't around when Dr. Tucker started practicing. He predates MRIs and CAT scans. Back then, every patient was a puzzle to solve, and the way you got to your diagnosis was getting to know the person. A doctor of the brain with one of the sharpest brains I have ever encountered. Seriously, doctor, tell us your secrets. Genetics is a good start. Everything in moderation except no cigarette smoking. That's, that's about it. He also boils it down to just being lucky. Do you have any plans to retire? No. Why not? Because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And <clears throat> retirement is the enemy of longevity. People wither up. We know they say age is but a number. And if Dr. Tucker doesn't prove that a hundred times over, well, we don't know what will. In Cleveland, Homa Bash, News 5. Wow. Retirement is the enemy? It is. You got to stay busy. I totally agree with them. Man, I need some rest and relaxation. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, everything about that story. Wow. A little bit of rest, a lot of fun. Explore things, try things. It's never too late. That's my opinion.